I'm Chaz Pride. Welcome back to another Sims 4 Spooky Season video on my channel. And today we are in Create a Sim. I like to throw fun little random Create a Sim challenges throughout Spooky Season. And I thought this year it might be fun to do a pumpkin Create a Sim challenge. Specifically a jack-o'-lantern themed couple challenge. So I am basically making a couple that are both pumpkin themed but in different ways. And I went ahead and gave them some cute names and traits that uh, I will show off real quick. But just keep in mind that I'm fully changing these Sims looks, so don't get used to what you're seeing. So for the name of these Sims, I decided I wanted their names to be a pun off the word jack-o'-lantern. So the female here, her name is Jackie Lantern. And when it came to their traits, I kind of was trying to base their traits off the type of personality I imagine the person carving the pumpkin or really like what type of carver they were, if that made sense. So like this Sims traits, you know, we have the creative trait because I thought they might be a very creatively done jack-o'-lantern that perhaps it was done by a perfectionist. So, you know, they, they have just the perfect little cuts out so whatnot. And because of that, they may be slightly self-absorbed because they know they're one of the best pumpkins in town. And with that creativity trait, I went ahead and gave them the painter extraordinaire. Because, you know, people don't only carve jack-o'-lanterns, they do sometimes paint them. So, I thought that was appropriate. And then likes and dislikes, I just gave the colors orange and black as likes. So that is our female sim, and then our sim that is a male is Jacko Lantern. And when it comes to Jacko Lantern, and I kind of imagined that maybe it was like the little brother type vibe, but Jacko Lantern like is really goofy and like and he's kind of out there. Like, maybe eat something silly instead of serious and perfect it. So, I gave him the, the goofball trait. Because, like I said, it might, it might be kind of a silly design. And that's a bit adventurous. Maybe kind of out there. Thought of uh, a jack-o'-lantern that was thought outside the box. And a bit cringe. Because, you know, he, he he's just kind of a weird jack-o'-lantern. But even with him being out there, he just wants to be a friend of the world and be a light jack-o'-lantern. And then same with him. I just have that he likes the colors black and orange. So that is the personality and names of these Sims. I'm going to start out with Jackie and let's just jump into it. So I do kind of imagine with them being pumpkins um, I'm just going to take off their clothes because this is not the vibe. With them being pumpkins, I kind of imagine them being thicker sims. You know, maybe have a little bit of a pumpkin booty here. At least on the female. Yeah, I just kind of imagine them being like heavier set sims a little bit. Maybe you can have a little bit of muscle. But I expect there to be a lot of curvage in the sim. Maybe even a slightly broader shoulders, which I, like, never do. Okay, I like that. And then when it came to the skin tone, I think for this sim, the route I want to take is, like, the orangest skin I can find, which I assume has to be, like, a warm tone skin. That's pretty orange. It's kind of more like a getting lobster vibe, so. Let's see. Um... Ooh, that's orange. That's orange. Do I go that far? Because my other thought was to make like this really like gothic Halloween chick, but I really love the orange skin vibes. And then if we do the orange skin vibes with these huge eyes she already has, I can even make them a little bit bigger. I kind of like the idea of having big eyes. We, we could stick with this really dark eye color. 
and oop, no let's not pull them apart I want to edit detail mode make these eye colors as big as possible so we barely have any white can we even make them slightly bigger I don't know if we can I think that's as, yeah that's as big as they go okay we can't completely cancel out the white unfortunately but if we pair this with the right eyebrows like I kind of like that as the eyebrows almost okay let's not match the hair we're gonna change the hair to orange anyways but let's do really sharp uh black eyebrows I like these these are super sharp I like the idea of that so we could do it like that like the perfectly crisp triangle eyebrows and then if we go to makeup Let's see, we could go with this. That is a look. That is a look. Um, well, let's specifically go to eyeshadow, black eyeshadows. Because I know I want it to be black. But let's, like, really see what our options are. I like this. Because that's kind of glam. Um, it is also the same concept as this. This is very glam. And it has that triangle effect. Um, we have this which is another idea just to fill in up to the eyebrow and of course there is always this this is an option I actually kind of like this as an option this is something I never use huh what about this is that jacqueline it kind of covers up the eyebrows though it perfectly covers up the eyebrows though I don't know I don't know if I want to go with that or if I want to go with like the gothic it eyeshadow I just don't know if I like this or this I kind of really like both of these like in different ways but I think her personality the sparkles kind of add to the aesthetic and then with this one we could go with some like really thick eyeliner here like what's the th is this the thickest eyeliner we have we have this but I want it thick on the bottom and I want it in black Let's see. This is thick on the bottom. That's fancy. Hold on, that's kind of fancy. I like that. I kind of like that. Okay. I don't hate that. And then, uh, what if we, what, would it be too far? Like, first of all, does this come in black? Of course it doesn't. What if we, what if we were to, uh, that's a conspiracy that's color I want I want to like change the brightness there we go that's it we could do a little black nose or should we do it like this one we have the full face I kind of like just this nose by itself I think the nose by itself is our best bet so oh that kind of brings out the triangle nose I wasn't even trying for that. I was going to see if this was a vibe. But I like the nose better and I can't have both. So, on that note, I think we are going to do the lips. And the lips, before we do the makeup, we got to do the shape. And honestly, I wanted to have a big mouth. I wanted to have a very, well, I wanted to have a very wide mouth. Maybe not so much big and but I don't know if I want the lips to be wide or if I want them to be skinny because like you typically think of a jack-o-lantern with an open mouth and teeth actually while I'm thinking of teeth let's go here and honestly I think we should go with the classic egg pointy teeth for jack-o-lanterns like, I think most people give their jack o lanterns pointy teeth, so I think that actually works out perfectly. But when it comes to actual lips, maybe, is that seriously the furthest we can and extend the lips out? That's really annoying. Like, I want to extend them out more. If I extend the face out more, that does not help. Okay, that does not help. I do like the face being a bit more round, though. I think that gives very pumpkin energy. Yeah, I kind of like that. But I 
I'm struggling with these lips. And maybe these and we just like make them a bit more filled out. And then we could just like black them out with makeup. <laughs> I mean, that sounds bad. But I mean, that's kind of accurate, right? Like you would black it out with makeup. Let's see. I I'm trying to find a decent black lipstick here. That is, that is a struggle. That is a struggle. I don't really like the goth kit one, honestly. Like, it's okay, but it doesn't cover enough of the lip. Like, I want full coverage of the lip, and that is just not coming very easily. So, I guess we're going to do the base game one, because that's the only one that I kind of like. <laughs> and then, ooh, 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 ooh. Do we have this in black? We have it in orange. Can't really see the orange. I want to do this, uh, a sh like, the crease... Because I felt like it could go well with that. Let's see. Yeah, but there's not really, like, a dark swatch that I like. Because, like, even the dark red swatch is not very dark. <clears throat> so maybe that's not a move. Um, is there any other... There's not really any other, like, face makeup that comes in black. We could try... Dimming the light on that. Yeah, that doesn't really... That's not really opaque enough. I don't think that's opaque enough. Okay. Well, I guess this is the best we're going to do makeup-wise for this sim that kind of has a more glam perfectionist look. So we have that. Now my trouble is what freaking hair to give. So honestly, we're going to do orange. Let's see. I think we're going to go with the orangest orange. And I do kind of want to give a longer hairdo, but not, like, I know we're going, like, perfectionist fancy vibes, but maybe not, like, this perfectionist fancy vibes. Um, let's see. We could do a bang and totally embrace the innerness, but I've made some with that exact hair, like, color and all. So I don't know if I want to repeat that. Let's see, there's this. This is a bit more quirky. I kind of like this. I actually really like the curls. I think that's really cute. Let's keep looking, but that is definitely an option. For some reason, I'm digging the bangs. I kind of like the pigtails, too. That's a cute look. Um, I use face buns way too often here recently. So let's not do that. We have the half and half hair, but not right colors. There's an ombre look. Let's see. We have this hair. This is fancy. But I kind of like just the stray across bangs. I don't know why I'm digging that so much, but I really am. We have this top curl, too. I bet if we did that in green, that could pass for a pumpkin look. I actually don't hate that. Wait a minute. Why don't I hate that? I was going to do like a green hat with the orange hair. Oh, I don't know which concept I like better now. Because I like the, the orange bangs on her. But the idea of this being green on top is actually kind of almost perfect. Oh, this is hard decisions. Wait, I think I'm either going to go with this or, oh, this is the, the hair color, the style I was looking for, but in color. I don't like the color, though. Um, where's the one that's not colored on that hair swat? Just somewhere in here, because there's the big tails. Here we go. So we have this. So do I like this or do I like, where was it? Where was it? I know you're in here somewhere. Let's see. Here we go. This. I kind of like the volume of this. That kind of reminds me of a pumpkin shape better. And I think that brings the roundness of her face out very well. So we're going to go with that. But we're going to get a green hat. So we're going to get some kind of green hat here that can kind of represent the stem. We have the Christmas hat. But... Uh, that's very Christmassy. This is also very Christmassy. What about beret? I kind of like the beret. Hold on. Let me look at all my options. 
We have a headphone option too, which is kind of cute. We have the overly big size neon green hat, which is kind of adorable. We had the green beanie, which is classic. Let's see. We have this little like military hat. We have this green hat. We have a, a very like medieval hat. I don't know. I kind of liked, I kind of liked the, uh, not the Christmas hat. The one I found after the beret. I really like the beret on her because that kind of like brings like a, a lopsidedness of like the leaf on top and it's actually like almost the perfect leaf color too. So I like that. I like that. Okay. So we have our sim. Now we just need to dress her and I have no idea what to dress her in. So I'm just going to filter everything by orange and black and see what I like. Okay, I know I'm going to want orange pants. So maybe we start with the pants. Because that seems more scary. So I want to get it out of the way. So we could go with the skirt look. Which is cute. And if we did that, we could pair it with some leggings. But I kind of imagine pants perhaps? I don't know. I, I don't dress in orange very often. So I don't know what my options are. That's a look. That's a look. We have a skirt. We have a lot of orange skirts. We have these shorts. Honestly, these shorts are kind of adorable. Let's see. That is an option. We have these pants from Love Struck too, which honestly, the vibe of those pants totally go with the vibe of that hat. If we went for like a, a more sexy look, we could go with that. I don't know if a sexy is the route I really want to go though. Ooh. Okay. I don't know about sexy, but these pants are really nice. I like the, sh the crisscross on them. It kind of reminds me of like how a pumpkin's carved out. I like that a lot. All right. I think those are, that's probably what we're going to go with. And this is what we're going to go with, but that also means I need some orange shoes. Okay, so what if we took a different approach? Instead of trying to find orange shoes, which we do not have, that work with these pants, what if we go with these green, like, tie-up boots? Because they're very, like, nature-y, and the green almost goes perfectly with the green hat. And, you know, the pumpkin might have a little, a, like, greenery under it because it sits on the ground and it's attached to a vine. So I think that's what we're going to go with. And now we have to find... A shirt. Now the vibe I, is probably more orange than black. So let's see if we can find an orange shirt that would work. We have this. But I don't want the there to be too many different oranges if we can help it. This is kind of cute. I don't like, I don't think the vibes go together though. I don't think the vibes go together. Um, let's look at all our options. Um, this has like a green stripe on it uh, uh, or a uh, collar on it, which kind of gives leaf vibes. I don't hate that. We also have the, <laughs> uh, fish net shirt, which kind of goes with the corset lining up on the bottom. Uh, we have this jacket, but I don't like the white. We have this. I think this is what's meant to go with this. Hold on. Why do I not hate this? The black could be kind of like the black accents for the face. Like the what's cut out. And this kind of is like a cut out. Or, I like this. Why do I like this? I wasn't expecting to like this. I thought I was going to put this on and be like, oh, no. But I'm actually like, oh, yes. I like this. Is there anything else less crazy looking i mean i could go with a a cold weather look but i kind of like to like the look other look probably more than i should honestly really i'm just making sure there's nothing else that i want to try there's more orange shirts than i expected like females have way more orange shirts than males I will give them that. Okay, I think I like 
this look. I think this is really cute for a pumpkin look. So this is our jack o' lantern I'm only going to do the everyday look since we're doing two sims. But, yeah, this is our girl, Jackie Lantern. She even has the crazy teeth. All right. So that's our female. And now onto the male, which I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach. <laughs> so, first of all, let's get these clothes off because this is not the vibe. Also, I'm going to take off any body hair because I don't think body hair is really the vibe. I am liking the big round body. Maybe we could even make him a little bit bigger. I honestly feel like this should be a pretty big dude. We could give him a little bit of muscle in there. Give him a little bit of muscle. Alright. So this is our male. And I'm taking an extremely different approach here. So let's take off the facial hair. And then what I want to do. Do we have face details on? I don't know. Maybe my screen is just dirty. <laughs> um, that's embarrassing. What I'm thinking is we have the skeleton makeup, but the skeleton makeup in the orange and black looks kind of like a jack-o'-lantern. And this jack-o'-lantern is supposed to be a little bit more silly, less perfected, you know, kind of cringe and goofy. So I think this this kind of works for that. But if we're going to do this, one, we need to black out the eyes like we did with hers. Um, do we want to give them bigger eyes? Oh, I kind of like that. It's kind of cute. Hold on. Let me go into detail mode and make the eyes really big. There we go. There we go. That's, that's actually kind of adorable. Why is he adorable? Okay. Okay. Let's also give him a little bit more of a, a rounded Face. I just want to make the, the head bigger. Oh my god. Let me take off the hair because we're not using that anyways. There we go. We can kind of round his head a bit. It's still going with that look. And then honestly, honestly, because we're blacking out his eyes and whatnot, I think we should just give him a really dark skin tone. Like maybe even almost solid black. Or we could... That's more gray. How come this is more black than the actual black? I'm just saying. I think they really didn't want to do a blackout sim. Okay, but um, do we want to do warm tones or cool tones? I kind of like the cool tone on him. So we could do like super dark sim, but then do, what if we did like orange dreads? Wait, why don't I hate that idea? I want orange. Okay, maybe different dreads. We could... We could do kind of like what we were talking about doing with the girl with the green on top. Why don't I hate that? Oh, God. Do, is that what I want to do? Huh? Do we want to do orange dreads? Or do we want to do... Oh, my goodness. We have these... Uh, decisions, decisions. I'm not good at decisions. Don't hate the uh, up top. Look, uh, let's look in dre dreads and this. Yeah, I kind of like the dreads better. So we could do like green. So we still have that idea. Um, let's see. We could also go with this, but I don't like that as much. So let's go with this. Since it's kind of a bun on the top. I wish they had it where it was like orange here and then green on the for the dreads. But I cannot be that picky. Also, I'm going to uh, make his ears very close to his head. If I can. If it will let me. Yes, let's put him back as far as we can. Because we're really trying to go with the round look here. Okay, so we have that. Um, also, I kind of want to. Uh, let's see. if they Do they have like orange earrings? Okay, but hear me out. What about orange knife earrings? Would you, like, carve a pumpkin with a knife? So I feel like that makes sense. And then we could try to see if they have, like, some kind of orange necklace that would work. I'm just trying to really add some orange up in here. I don't know exactly what orange shirt I'm going to be using. But I feel like we could use some kind of more orange. We have, like, orange bandanas. But I don't like, th I don't love that. We have an orange 
pain. Ooh, I kind of like that. So that has black and orange vibes. And it kind of goes with the hair. Let's see. We also have this from Stranger Bill, but that's more black than orange. We have the black spider, which of course is a vibe. But I think I'm liking the, not that one, but this one. So, oh, if we did that, so that, that kind of uh, gives interesting vibes. Okay, we may not need the necklace. It just kind of depends on what shirt we go with. We could go with this, which does cancel out the necklace. But that does have the cutouts in it, which I like. But let's see what else we have. Just because I feel like we should have as m look through as many options as we can. Okay, so I'm stuck between either giving him this, like, striped shirt because it lines up perfectly with the necklace. And I kind of like the necklace being, like, a circle cut off because, like, you would cut off the top of the pumpkin to, like, gut it out. So it kind of, like, it's like it's stitched back together. But I'm debating between this shirt or... Let's see. I went through a couple options here. I have to go back. Or this sweater. So I like kind of like the, bl the orange covering like as much as possible. So I think that's what we're going to go with. We should have done the orange pants first. I actually should have done that first. I did them first on the other sim. I don't know why I didn't do them first on this sim. Let's see. What we got, what we got. Um... Yeah, these we we could just go with the sweat look like we could just embrace it I mean he is cringe so I don't hate that idea what if we just try to go all black or uh, all orange all orange do we have orange gloves like uh, we could really embrace this oh he, these are orange and black there we go we have orange and black and then honestly orange shoes I'm kind of imagining these orange shoes but of course they have blue on them these are gray. Orange and gray. I think that'll work. I didn't bother giving him the jack o' lantern teeth. Uh -huh. But I feel like he, he would be goofy. So maybe he, the sim that carves him would give him regular teeth. Like buck teeth even. Maybe. Let's give him buck teeth. That's a cute idea. Let's give him buck teeth. Or you know what? Let's give him the jagged teeth. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. But I think. That is like kind of my final move on him. So I think both the Sims are done. So let's just do a little overcap here. So our female Sim we have in this couple. Actually, we should pro. I didn't make them like actually married. Let's do the whole married relationship. You know what? They're going to have a wholesome relationship. I think their relationship would be wholesome. But let's do a little review of our sim Jackie Lantern here. So she wants to be a painter extraordinaire, which gives her the muser trait. She is creative. She is a perfectionist. And she's a little bit self-absorbed. And she likes the colors orange and black. So this is our girl up close. We have the very jack-o'-lantern makeup. We have the crazy teeth which is not letting me show you here for some reason. there we go let's uh get the teeth why can't, aren't you showing me your teeth there you go we got the uh crazy triangle teeth uh big fluffy makeup we have the beret as kind of a leaf and then we have the orange outfit with the kind of cutouts that kind of represent a jack-o'-lantern and the orange uh shoes to kind of show the leaves underneath so that is our sim jackie lantern and then we have her husband jack o lantern he wants to be a friend of the world which makes him guard guardacious he's a goofball adventurous and a bit cringe and he also likes black and orange and then this is him up close. So we have the skull slash jack lantern face with the knife earrings. We had the green hair tied up on the top like the leaves. We had the necklace kind of showing the st sim line from where er, the he the top was cut out so the guts could be removed. And then we have him decked out 
and as much orange as possible to so the orange sweatsuit, the orange sneakers, the orange gloves. He is just as orange as possible. And that, my friends, is my jack-o'-lantern pumpkin sims. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the video wasn't too long. I'll try to cut it down as much as I can. But, uh... This did take a little bit longer than I expected, but I actually had more fun than I expected, and I actually liked these Sims more than I thought I would. Like, I thought these Sims would just be, like, Sims I would never personally use, but honestly, if I had to do a Halloween challenge, I would use these Sims. I think they're cute, especially Jackie. I think Jackie's face it turned out absolutely adorable. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to call this one here. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that awesome stuff because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. All right.